Good morning and uh, thank you for joining me in this seminar and today we are going to talk uh, about uh, healthcare management uh, in the private medical sector and uh, with a focus uh, uh, of this sector in the post-covid era. It is uh, very important uh, uh, to uh, realize how much COVID-19 has impacted the uh, medical sector, the world in general. Uh, uh, it has revealed some uh, deficits and some uh, issues in terms of healthcare management, uh, both in public hospitals and private medical centers around the globe. And uh, it has also uh, affected in, a, in, in quite a striking way the landscape uh, of the uh, organi uh, medical organizations uh, around the globe and uh, in Italy. Um, it is uh, fundamental to uh, effectively and properly organize uh, an organization's frame framework whether it is uh, medical in, like in this case or uh, any other sector uh, in order uh, for the working team of profession professionals and workers to be well integrated but also uh, to be able to work in unison and harmony uh, in order also to uh, face uh, unpredicted uh, events such as the terrible uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, what COVID uh, pandemic uh, uh, revealed was uh, how important and vital it is for a private or a public, but in, in this case uh, I'm focusing on a private medical company in Italy, how important it is uh, to uh, act and uh, apply changes within uh, a company in order to face the uh, unpredicted event which uh, uh, COVID pandemic has brought many, many uh, 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 collateral effects other than the uh, dramatic uh, uh, healthcare disaster that it has brought with it. Uh, and so, it, uh, as healthcare managers, it is very important to realize that uh, changes are a constant in the world of uh, a business, but even more so in the healthcare field, where developments and new regulations shape the framework and the uh, internal workings of a healthcare company. What uh, the study of business management allows healthcare managers to do is to use very useful tools in order to in implement, properly implement change, but also to check for the quality improvement of this change. In fact, it is in very important not simply to understand what the issue is, develop the change that is necessary in order for the company to properly uh, work and to, prop and to properly deal with the issue, but also to uh, have tools in order to monitor the impact of the change. Uh, there are uh, indicators which uh, uh, can be uh, assessed and in order to see uh, the, um, the effects and the proper implementation of the change in question. A useful tool to, to be used to check for quality improvement of a change is the McKinsey 7S framework. The special type of model is based on seven concepts, each of, each of which start with the letter S. These concepts are systems, structure, strategy, skills, style, staff, and shared values. And this type of model is used to evaluate and monitor changes within an entity, such as a company or organization, and such as a healthcare company. This type of model is used to evaluate and monitor changes within an entity. 
The 7S system is based on the concept that changes will have a positive impact and the reaction in terms of performance and stability from the part of the organization will be positive only, only if these seven concepts are in equilibrium and act in a synergistic way with each other. It is uh, very important, especially important in, uh, in the healthcare field because as healthcare managers we need to realize that there is only one objective at the end of the day. Uh, which has to be put above uh, uh, any possible uh, uh, objectives of the private company itself, which is the well-being of the patient. Uh, the health of the patient has to be at the uh, top of our priority list. And this is why it is important to properly implement changes within the healthcare company in order to improve the services to the patients. In fact, there is an urgent need for leaders in the healthcare field to become knowledgeable in terms of the needs of the system itself and of the patients to make proper decisions in terms of funding and management. As said, COVID-19 pandemic across all the waves had a dramatic impact and has shown a need for improvement of several factors in hospitals and private medical centers, including the need to increase patient safety by increasing quality of staff, training and dedicated courses for the staff, and increasing their skills. It is a company's and the healthcare manager's role to do this for their staff, dealing with complexity, culture and engagement with a professional group and identifying which quality improvement methodology to consider with team engagement is not an easy task, especially when, things, when thinking that success rate for a proper implementation of a quality improvement change is between 10 and 30 percent, so it's very low. And it is very important for healthcare managers uh, to understand this and do all they can in order uh, to help the staff and the patients. In fact, in order to properly and effectively increase care and patient safety, uh, which will also benefit the medical center itself because it will increase the notoriety of the center, uh, it is important to understand and increase the quality of service. This will also uh, in, uh, increase the attractiveness to, uh, of, uh, of top professionals and it will increase patient safety and quality of services. In conclusion, uh, there is uh, the need for new management protocols in the healthcare field uh, to fix issues emerged after the COVID waves. And there is also a need for funds because, for instance, in Italy, uh, the private medical uh, uh, field uh, can really become uh, very important in, um, in aiding the NIH and the public system in dealing the best possible service uh, to the patients. And this is at the forefront of uh, any healthcare company, the patients. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this seminar was very useful and uh, have a good day.